Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining me today. If you will, like, share, comment on the post, and then uh, join me in the book of Acts, chapter 21, as uh, Paul now greets and speaks with uh, the leaders in the church at Jerusalem. Um, he's asked for a meeting. Now, in verse 19, this is after greeting them, he related one by one the things that God had done among the Gentiles to his ministry. And when they heard it, they glorified God, and they said to him, You see, brother, how many thousands uh, how many thousands there are among the Jews of those who have believed. They are all zealous for the law. Uh, so Paul tells them, man, uh, when you see that statement in verse 19, uh, it says one by one. Uh, the King James Version says particularly, uh, and the particularly literally means one by one. Uh, and so what Paul does um, is um, it's been about now, about five years uh, since Paul was last with uh, the Jerusalem church. And so he goes through in great detail, uh, is what this statement means, uh, what God has been doing on uh, on this journey, uh, on his third journey. Uh, and so he, he lays out uh, explicit details. And, and notice uh, that he says, uh, related one by one, the things God had done, uh, that uh, God had been doing uh, these things, that he gives uh, God the glory, the credit uh, for all uh, that had been accomplished, uh, that the churches that had been started, that the people who had become believers, uh, all of that uh, was a, a result uh, of God. That it, what Paul is not taking any credit uh, for any of it, but giving God full glory uh, for all uh, that had been done. Uh, and so here uh, we see then that uh, the James and uh, the elders, uh, they uh, respond by giving glory to God. Uh, they are uh, praising the Lord for what uh, has, uh, has been uh, happening um, and um, one of the little thing that uh, stands out there again, it does show that they were uh, in support of Paul, that they weren't uh, opposed to Paul, uh, and uh, and so this is a, a beautiful scene, uh, and, we're, and we're only going to cover these two verses uh, because uh, if you want to read ahead, you can. I can't stop you, but uh, you'll spoil the the ending, so to say, um, because we're going to see in the next verse things kind of uh, change a little bit. They bring up some. Uh, of the opposition, uh, some of the complaining that had been going on uh, about uh, about Paul's ministry. Uh, and so uh, a couple uh, lessons that uh, we can uh, pick up again, how important it is uh, that we always make sure uh, and give God the glory uh, for all uh, that he does, uh, that we praise him, we give him all the honor and glory uh, for for everything, for all, even the smallest detail, uh, because without him, none, uh, nothing we do uh, would be possible. Uh, and uh, we're, we're going to see as we uh, move on to uh, part of the reason why, uh, why that's so important, because we're going to see in the very next section section of this story, uh, how now the, the, the elders are, um, again, and, and they're not the ones complaining, they're just bringing the message, uh, as we'll see, and trying to find a, uh, a medium ground, uh, meeting ground for uh, everyone involved, but uh, how important it is to give God the credit for the good times uh, so that uh, he can help with the bad times uh, as well. And uh, just encourage you today, as you go through today, uh, just be alert, pay attention uh, for the things that God is doing uh, in your life. You may not be on a missionary journey like Paul. You may not be starting churches and leading thousands to, to, to salvation. Uh, but anything that, uh, that happens in your life today, anything that, uh, that, that uh, you're part of, uh, God deserves the glory for. Uh, and uh, you keep that in mind. Uh, and, be, and just again, I, I've used this phrase before, 
uh, again, um, the, and, and it's not it's not my phrase. It's one uh, that uh, that I heard somewhere else. Uh, being on a God hunt, uh, that as we go out today, that we just look uh, look around us and see the things that God is doing, uh, and give Him the glory and the honor for it all. You have a good day. Keep an eye out for God and what He's doing in your life, and give Him the glory. We'll see you here tomorrow morning.